Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shivam Bhardwaj and I will be discussing the strategy for general surgery. So if you are aiming the INICT or your NEET examination, so this video is for you. So let's start with the strategy for general surgery. So this general surgery is a short subject we can say although it is going to carry almost 14 questions which are recommended by NEB but in the recent years also we have seen almost 6 to 8 questions are coming from general surgery directly but owing to its wide nature and you cannot discriminate it completely or you cannot have the well defined boundaries for surgery. So some questions from oral surgery or some questions from anatomical aspect can be considered under the general subject. Uh, general surgery subject but if I say almost six to eight questions are coming directly from the general surgery and this uh, subject requires a very fundamental knowledge of your anatomy so if you are good at anatomy then only you should go ahead with the general surgery and that's the reason we have kept the task also first anatomy then general and the oral maxillofacial surgery so this uh, general surgery uh, basically uh, for the dentist actually uh, is mainly focusing on the uh, areas which are beyond head and neck yes the head injuries the other injuries the fractures then you have the transfusion uh, reactions then you have the blood transfusion products then you have burns then you have uh, arterial and the venous injuries and all so all these are things which are beyond the oral surgical aspect of the oral surgery of course we are reading oral surgery as a separate entity right so that's why anything which is beyond that is going to come in your general surgery and one very important thing which i must tell you there is something known as the disease of thyroid gland that is going to be extensively asked from the general surgery yes at least one or two questions will be there from this particular topic that is your thyroid glands in any kind of exam whether it is INICT or it is your NEET examination so if we see the previous year analysis, so in 2016 in AIPG, that was four questions from surgery, then 2017 there were two, that is claimed to be two, but it was a multi-session examination. So there must be almost six to eight questions on an average. Then 2018, three, 2019, eight, 25, 21, that is this year seven to eight questions. So this is uh, not giving you the exact picture of the importance of your surgery because at least 14 questions are asked from the surgery uh, which are recommended by INNB and uh, we should consider that at least 14 questions will be coming from this particular subject. Yes, these are the direct uh, questions which are coming from the surgery but there are a lot of indirect questions also. So just consider the weightage of surgery to be around 14 questions. Now coming to the books to be referred for the uh, surgery, so we have the standard book of course the Bailey and Love that is the short practice of the surgery, it is considered to be the most standard book for surgery and of course in medical as well as dental PG entrance examination we are going to count upon this book for the standard references. Then we have one Indian author that is going to be like must, one of the most popular book for the MCQs in surgery that is your Pritesh Singh that is surgery of uh, essence uh, seventh or uh, any edition above seventh can be taken and you have to be very selective while reading this particular book because this is generally meant for the PG entrance examination that is after the MBBS but if we want the dental entrance examination so you have to take very uh, like you have to be very cautious about the important topics which are important for your exam so here the role of bites come so if we see the com uh, comprehensive bites which we have made so that contains the important information from the standard book as well as the popular mcq books and here we give you the short gist of all the important topics or the tasks for the surgery now coming to the task to be followed for general surgery so of course i have told you that at least one question is going to come from the thyroid gland it can be either on the general uh, basics of the thyroid gland the basic hormone the basic physiology basic anatomy or it can be on the diseases of the thyroid gland that can be your hyperthyroidism or the hypothyroidism the diagnosis the treatment and the various clinical feature or it can come on the tumors of the thyroid gland so the important tumor which of the following is having uh, calcium uh, increased calcitonin actually so uh, which of the following spread through the lymphatics which uh, tumor spread from the hematic root all that is going to come and at least one question is guaranteed from these three topics then we have the disease of the salivary gland the surgical aspect of the salivary gland can be uh, taken here or it can also be 
covered in the oral surgery aspects right then we have the surgical infections so the surgical infections the tetanus the carbuncle the boil these are specific to the surgery all that we have to remember here itself then one of the most important thing that is the head injury the protocols to be followed what is triage and uh, in the head injury you get the glasgow coma scale all that questions come from the head injury from the surgery the fractures and the dislocations again very important that is your cleft lip and the palate at least one question is guaranteed from the cleft lip and palate and the values of uh, your bele and love is considered as uh, standard values so you can always follow those values for cleft lip and palate that means when should the surgery of cleft lip should be done uh, and what percent of the cases are having cleft lip and palate combined okay so all these are uh, very important and one question is guaranteed from cleft lip and palate either it can be from hair or it can be from the oral surgical aspect or sometimes in the from the oral pathological aspect also then we have one more thing that is specific to the surgery that is swellings ulcers and tumors of head and neck the disease of larynx and pharynx again burns fluid management and wound healing as well as your shock and hemorrhage these four at least two questions are going to come from any of these topics because burn itself is a huge topic and it is very interesting at least one question is considered here on the management on the fluid management also then wound healing uh, the keloids and the shock and hemorrhages at least one to two questions are guaranteed from these four topics now coming to the next task that is your blood products very important then the transfusion and miscellaneous in blood products a lot of questions are asked on the factor 8 disease the cryoprecipitate and all sagam their uh, shelf life and uh, their uh, indications and all transfusion in the transfusion basically they ask about the um, blood group system whether it is abo bombay blood group or they can also ask about your transfusion reactions right then we have the arterial and venous disorder not a lot of questions are asked but sometimes one or two questions can be asked from burgers disease or an odd phenomenon and all then of course we have the full syllabus test and the uh, image based test so these are the important tasks of the surgery if you master these 90 percent of the questions from the surgery are guaranteed so this is all about the surgery where uh, we have to uh, understand that the time is less and we have to master the important topics first because this is a vast subject and direct questions are hardly 6 to 8 you are not going to get 14 although you have to consider it is 14 because officially it has been mentioned that questions from surgery will be around 14 but yes this is very important subject and if you master these tasks which we have given in the guided prep you can get definitely get a good score. I hope I have made the strategy for surgery clear to you. Still, if you have any other queries, please comment in the comment box below. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to get notified for upcoming videos, please hit the bell icon. Thank you.